We have winds out of the northwest, and that's bringing some lake effect snow off of Lake Superior into parts of Alger and northern Schoolcraft counties, where we are seeing some slick roadways and a lower visibility. That's one of the areas that's going to get a little bit hit harder as we go through the next couple of days with some additional snowfall on the way. At the moment, we are seeing mainly cloudy skies over central parts of the UP and some ongoing lake effect snow over the Keweenaw Peninsula, although it's not really being picked up well on radar imagery. Temperatures are at 10 degrees in Marquette. It's 17 in Escanaba and 7 degrees in Houghton, so the cold air continues, although tonight won't be quite as chilly compared to the past couple of nights. We don't have any wind chill advisories across the area for tonight into tomorrow morning. The temperatures will be just a little bit not as cold. Winds are currently coming out of the north northeast in, Mu in Marquette at 8 miles per hour, northwest winds in Munising at 14 miles per hour, and winds out of the west in Houghton at 9 miles per hour. We're seeing a little bit more moisture here out to the west over parts of Wisconsin and Iowa, and that's producing some more widespread snow. That increasing moisture is heading towards us, and it's going to increase our chances of snow showers for tomorrow morning. So we have lake effect snow tonight, mainly affecting areas east of Marquette and the Keweenaw Peninsula. But you'll notice here a little bit more in the way of snow showers for tomorrow morning. That moves off to the east and dissipates later in the day, so the end of the day Friday is looking dry. Most of us will probably begin Saturday morning with dry weather, and then we'll have another round of snow showers moving into the area for Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So here's a look at future snowfall amounts over the next 48 hours. It's the areas in purple and yellow that we're going to end up getting the highest snowfall amount. So in the two areas that I've outlined, that's where we could see additional amounts more than six inches for Friday and Saturday combined. That's areas east of Marquette and east of Escanaba. Also the Keweenaw Peninsula in two parts of Ontonagon County. Your hometown forecast for tonight lows near three degrees in Barraga, minus two in Iron Man mountain. Some snow showers around much of the UP with lows heading down to minus two degrees in Ishpeming. For tomorrow, we're going to have high temperatures at near six degrees in Iron River, 14 degrees in Munising. Some snow showers primarily during the first half of the day with highs near 10 degrees in Ishpeming and eight degrees in Gwynn. Wind chills tonight minus 10 to minus 20 for most places. So that keeps us above the wind chill advisory criteria. So we're not seeing any of those kinds of advisory in our area tonight. Wind chills for the day tomorrow, largely between 0 and minus 10. Then as we go into tomorrow night and early Saturday, those wind chills will become a little bit more bitter with those values of minus 15 to minus 30. We are going to find some cold wind chills as we go into the weekend. For tomorrow, snow showers primarily morning and midday. Highs near 10 degrees for the afternoon. Saturday will start off below zero. Highs near 8 degrees with increasing chances of snow showers for the afternoon and possibly continuing into the evening. For Sunday, a chance of flurries. We're going to have morning temperatures near minus 10, a very cold start to Sunday, highs near 2 degrees for Sunday afternoon. Monday likely beginning below minus 10, morning temperatures getting into the minus single numbers will have highs near 8 degrees with partly cloudy skies for Monday. And on Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies starting to get just a little bit warmer. We'll start off in the below zero in the early morning and then highs near 15 degrees Tuesday afternoon.